Hello, my name is Annie. And today is July 3, 2023. Today's curated video includes content from Wealthion and discusses the disconnect between the market and macroeconomics. So let's get started. This video summary is from Wealthion featuring two interviews with seasoned investor Ted Oakley. Oakley discusses his view on the current condition of the stock market in this video. Oakley believes that the stock market is overvalued at present and predicts an imminent market correction. He states that the fair value of stocks is currently not reflected in the market, leading to bloated prices. Oakley urges investors to exercise caution while buying stocks now, implying they are paying much more than the intrinsic value. Furthermore, he provides his perspective on the role of central banks in shaping the current market scenario, indicating their role is key in this inflated market situation. The key points include Oakley foresees a forthcoming market correction due to current overvaluation of stocks. Stocks are considerably higher than their intrinsic value. Oakley advises investors to tread cautiously and avoid overpaying for stocks. Central banks have played a considerable role in creating the current market situation and doubts loom over the ability of central banks to manage the impending market correction. Oakley predicts a possible economic downturn, with companies hoping for aid from the Federal Reserve, which may not materialize leading to a survival struggle. He indicates signs of economic instability in global economies, with higher interest rates and decelerating growth leading to market deterioration 1. The high probabilities of a severe recession and its impact on unemployment coupled with the speculation of continued rate hikes by the Federal Reserve are discussed. Oakley mentions the stress on the banking system due to high-ratio commercial real estate debts held by smaller banks, suggesting the need for banking system reform. He takes a deep dive into the subjects of inflation rates, job cuts, waning working hours, and housing market trends driven by rising interest rates and concludes with a warning of a market stall due to unaffordable mortgages. On employment, Oakley expresses concerns about unemployment rates appearing stronger than they are, noting companies struggle to fill vacancies. He discusses inflation, suggesting that it is not transient and deeply rooted, affecting wage earners struggling with soaring costs of rent, transport, and groceries. And the last couple of points from this two-part interview with Ted Oakley includes. On the housing market, Oakley forecasts a correction, anticipating residential real estate decline by 15 to 20 percent, advising future home buyers and builders to be cautious. He reveals the predicaments of consumers, particularly the bottom 80 to 90 percent, dealing with declining real wages, diminished labor leverage, and soaring debt. A reference to a conversation with senior economist Lacey Hunt reveals concerns about the continuous decline in the Federal Reserve's money supply, leading to a tighter economy. For the upcoming year, Oakley cautions stakeholders to prepare for potential market repricing events given the stock market's current optimism, hinting at considerable socio-economic changes that could cause drastic market and economic health shifts, cryptocurrency. We have taken over two hours of YouTube video and provided summary in less than five minutes. If you enjoyed this curated video you can start with a free trial. Or for less than 30 cents per day you get virtually unlimited video summaries each month. Your AI-generated summaries will be delivered real-time directly to your mobile phone. With Tube on AI, you can stay up to date with your favorite influencers without spending hours of your time watching lengthy videos. Thank you for taking the time to review this curated video, we hope you found it useful. With Tube on AI you can Unlock insights Embrace efficiency And save time Click the join button now and start getting back your life without missing the content you love.